Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hectic Homestead. So this episode I'm going to go over the seal plate, how I'm doing those uh, with the minor inconveniences of uh, what the block layers neglected to do correctly. Uh, so I'll show you how I'm doing that and getting around those issues, keeping everything to code or better than code. So if you did not check out the video yet of all the things with this basement that I did not agree with or I wish were done differently, I would, uh, I'll put that up above here. Go check that video out. There's a lot of key points, you know, maybe your future projects, uh, things you didn't think about. Obviously these J bolts are one of them, the location of them. And I'll go ahead and uh, give you what code says in our area. So code says the J bolts need to be every four to six feet and within the last foot of the board, but no closer than four inches to the end. So from four inches to 12 inches of the end of the board, a J bolt needs to be. So you can see this corner here, they put the J bolt too far away. They should have been up here, if not the corner, you know, on this side of the core. So if we go around here, we'll just take a look. So this, board here or within a foot no closer than four inches there and same here so this board I don't have to add J bolts to but if we continue to the next one no J bolt see what they should have done is every 12 foot or every 16 foot they should have had two J bolts roughly 18 inches apart that way you can make sure the end of the bolt lands perfect you know, to where the end of the boards have a J-bolt holding them down, which they did not do. How they did it would work if you had a 42 foot long board, which obviously we don't have. And even at that point, that one there would still be off and have to be redone. So I'm using two by tens because I'm using 10 inch block for the basement walls. And uh, I had these 12 footers expecting to be able to use them, but as you can see there, I have to add another J-bolt because that one's too far from the end. I'll just kind of zoom in, show you. Same with that end there. Need a J-bolt. And then down at the corner, that one there is as well too far from the end of the board. So I have to add one in at the end. So what I'm pretty much having to do on these boards is figure out the easiest place to put a J-bolt as far as labor-wise, cost of mortar, and then having to trim each of these boards. So it's going to, in the long run, cost me more board foot because I have to cut all these little pieces off. One of them I had to cut two inches off, other ones I had to cut, that one there's three and a half foot, I think. So, now what I'm trying to do is get it to where the J-bolts land, not in the core here, but in these pockets here, because it'll take less, less mortar to fill that than it will the core. The core I'll have to fill the whole way down there. So I'm trying to line them up to where it works out that way. But that's pretty much what we're working with. So code also states that the J bolts need to be within the center third of the board, which we're good there. So it's just the length of these boards and uh, figuring out the easiest way to get more J bolts. Code does not have a requirement for too many J bolts. So you can have a J bolt every foot if you want. There's nothing in there that says that you cannot. Before I start, I will say that there is no seal seal under these yet because I have to come back and mortar in them J bolts. I'll show you the board here that I'm working on and how I'm figuring that out and then uh, probably bring you back whenever I get closer to finished. Okay the first things we're gonna do just got our board up here and whenever I pick these up off my stack over there I'm making sure that there's no crazy 
bows in the board and I'm making sure that I have it crowned. That way whenever I sit it down there, it'll pull the board down. If there's a crown in it this way and you pull down the center, it's gonna push out nice and tight to the edge of this board after you drill your holes. So, yeah, none of these other boards are tight. They're just sitting there over the screw, or over the bolts there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the nuts off of these two bolts here, just to get them out of the way. Now they did not put a J bolt over the lintel, over the French door there. So this board here, I can run a full length board and put two J bolts, one at this, the end of this one and the one that'll catch the next board. So I'll be good there. I'll have to check code on how long the next board may need to be in order to only have two J bolts. I might have to put one in the center of the next board, but uh, we'll talk about that more once we get down to the corner there. So this here, you're gonna go ahead and get it hammer up here square so the square I'm using I'm gonna butt it up against the block and make sure the outside edge is flush with the outside edge of that block also I'll put it on the edge of this board kind of eyeball it to make sure I'm tight up against the edge of this board my goal is whenever I put this board on there I want to smack it down with the hammer so it's nice and tight so let's go ahead this two by 10 will kind of sit on these bolts somewhat easily. do is being as it keeps moving this eye joist here or the eye beam here is just messing me up so I'm gonna pull it down nice and tight and actually overlap it just a sixteenth oh, I said a sixteenth not a whole inch okay now let's double check where this J bolt is it's right here Board needs to come over still. Pain in the now obviously if you had a hand, that makes this process a lot easier. Went much smoother without this high beam in the way here. But so that looks straight out there so let's just see if we can't slide this straight forward okay. I'm gonna call that good there I'm just going to drill this first hole. We'll worry about the other one. After we get this one sat over that screw, then this end won't move as much. Now you can see the dimple there. That's where we're going to drill. Now a key to this, kind of help you out, is our J bolt. If you look at it, it's closer to the inside of the block than the outside. So. If I want to have a little wiggle room to be able to slide this closer to the end of the block out there, then we want to drill just on the inside, on the shallow side. Now it'll give us more room to push the board that way. So typically you don't want to just go right in the center, but if you're looking in your head and it seems like you need to go that way just a touch more from where you had it, just move your bit over in that hole just a touch. These are half inch J bolts. I'm using a uh, 
5 8 bit. A lot of people will tell you to use a 9 16 bit, but these J-bolts aren't always gonna be straight up and down. They might be kicked off one way or the other. So a tad bit bigger bit will actually help you get them bolts on or up through them easier. So now we're going to go ahead, flip our board back over and sit it on that bolt. Okay, so now we have this bolt locked in on the board there. We can go ahead, come on the outside, down by this next bolt, because this bolt back here is going to hold us from moving. So we'll come closer to this anchor bolt down here. Actually, that's pretty good there. Make that dimple for the next one there. There we go. The washers they threw on a stack of washers on random J bolts here. So I'm just going to use these nuts, hold it on there. So that's that one. Didn't get it as tight down here as I wanted, but it's not bad. So I'll be able to pull this tight, a little bit tighter whenever I do the seal seal. And what I'm going to do is make these holes just a tad bit bigger so that I have a little bit more wiggle room. Because, you know, you're holding the board a few inches off off of the block here and trying to get it perfectly lined up on the outside. If you see, I mean, we're flush here with the block. But as you can see on this one, here, it's not so flush. So just a little bit of wiggle room. And then even this board here, beam got in my way. And we're off an eighth of an inch off that uh, block. So I want that pulled back. And on the inside, you can see we have about a quarter inch. What's this, what that's going to allow for later on is to run a bead of uh, foam caulk down the inside, make it airtight. But there's that one. Let's get down to the corner and check out what's going down there. So here we are down at the corner over the French doors. Now, as you can see, there's no anchor bolt here, as I said, in a previous video, they did not put one here. They expected me, after paying them to do the basement, to put the anchor bolts in over here, which made no sense to me, but whatever. Whenever you're dealing with a bad contractor, it's kind of like dealing with a bad relationship. Sometimes it's better to cut your losses and uh, quit trying to, to fix things and just do away with them and come back to it, fix it you know, yourself. So I'll end up throwing an anchor bolt in here, a small slot in between the block, just like this and then I'll throw one in here and that'll catch the ends of both of these boards. So the issue in the corners are where the anchor bolts are. They're too far, both of them are too far from the corner. So what I'm looking at is if I run this board straight, then I'm going to have to fill this core completely the whole way down, which we don't want to do. So it's going to be easier to use this anchor bolt because if I run a board straight this way, I can run an anchor bolt in this pocket here. And that'll use less mortar because there's a bottom in it. So I'll be able to put an anchor bolt here which is gonna capture the last foot of this board. And then my board here is gonna start coming this way to butt up over here. And this will catch, well this bolt here will catch the last foot of that board. So we'll go ahead and throw this board up here see where it lands down there with them anchor bolts and see what we're gonna have to do. Chances are it's going to be like that back corner there and I'm probably gonna have to cut it just on the other side of that window, just like that. Let's go ahead and grab a board and we'll see. Let's go ahead and get this board tossed up here and see how it looks. On the scaffolding, you just gotta be careful to get these nuts off here. Careful you don't walk off the end. I'm not locking the wheels that way I can slide it back and forth. Whenever I'm taking these nuts off, I'm putting them on one of the J-bolts nearby, just so they don't fall down in the holes. There's already a couple missing. I'm not sure what happened to them. Maybe they got misplaced whenever they were putting them in. They're like 37 cents a piece, not the end of the world, but that's still money at the end of the day that should have been here. Should not have had to worry about having enough nuts. That's what she said. 
So with more anchor bolts, it's actually easier to fit the board up there and get it in position. You just have to hold it from you know, tipping too far. You want to kind of hold the board flat-ish. Because if you go like this, then the corner's sticking out, which is going to give you a false impression of where the edge of that board is. So I need to slide it towards you. Come on, pick up your end. Just overhanging a touch now. Not near as bad as it was. Because I drilled this one just a little bit off. Let's see where we're at here. Whew. That's sexy. That's sexy there. So we get back into our topic of where these J bolts line up. This J bolt here is 14 inches from the end of the board. So that means I'm gonna have to cut off of this board here. Dang it. And if I put a J-bolt here, I can get away with the J-bolt there. So whenever I say J-bolt there, let me take these nuts out real quick. Kind of show you what I'm looking at. So the end of this board is 14 inches from that J-bolt. It needs to be within a foot. So if I cut this board down, and put it, let's say 10 inches or in this area, 11 to 10. Then that means I can put another J bolt here and that'll give me about nine and a half, 10 inches to that one as well. So that's what we'll do. We can cut this one down. We'll cut it down to 11, which will give us Roughly 10 and a half to the next one. So that's what we'll do. So a quick tip I showed you guys in the goat shack video on making your cuts quick and easy without uh, doing too much measuring. Just need a square, your tape obviously, a pencil, and your saw. So I'm just gonna put this hammer underneath the board to lift it up away from the concrete so I'm not cutting through block accidentally. So we want to go from the hole, we'll go um, we'll go 11 inches is where we're going to cut. So there's our mark. The V there. Just gonna take our square. We have a knot here, so I'm not gonna square it off the knotted side. Hold our square up on there. Draw us a line. Now I'll just square it off of this side and just make sure my line's straight across my square. Voila. So now, just gonna take my circular saw, sit it up there using my square as a fence. 
Check and see where my blade is. Make sure, I'm cutting, make sure I'm cutting in the right spot. Hold my square nice and snug against my board here. And then pushing the saw against the fence or the square here and forward to make a square cut. Another tip would be make sure you have a charged battery in your power tools. So now, from the edge of, end of our board here, we're 11 inches, so we're within that foot that code requires. And then to the next one will be 10 inches. So we're good there. Well, it's getting a little dark, so we'll go ahead and cancel this for the day. And uh, we'll get back whenever we start some more, or I'll probably just bring it back if I see anything out of the ordinary, something that I need to bring up that's different than the last two boards here that we've uh, used. I might get this one filled in tonight, but that's a simple one. Just cut it to length, no big deal. So I'll bring you guys back either to finish up these seal plates here as far as checking them out, the measurements on them, and figuring out where the J-bolts need to go. But if not then, I'll bring you back whenever I put in the J-bolts. Uh, I discussed a little bit about the J-bolts in the first, or actually the second basement video about them blocking a pour in the basement. So if you want any more info on that, you can check that out here. But uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in a, in a little bit.